Hey, this is Mr. Mitchell with another video. Today we're going to talk about how we ended up getting to the actual theory of plate tectonics. And the reason, you, you may remember that we had Wegener, who um, had kind of come up with the theory that these continents were moving apart. And you may remember that the scientific community really didn't agree with Wegener. This was way back in the early 1900s, but something happened in the 1950s that kind of made people, made scientists believe Wegener a little bit more. And what happened was they started mapping the ocean floor. Now, whenever scientists start and see people used to map the ocean floor, they expected to find just a solid, smooth, level part, uh, expected to find the sea floor to be smooth and level. And I'll move this out of the way. And you can see it's not. You have these huge mountain ranges that are underwater. And you have these flat areas, and you have these seams that look like they're, they're like baseball seams that just go all over the place. Now, here's also what they found out. They found out that there were some areas that were older than others. They found out the areas that were closest to these mid-ocean ridges, this is what they call this area here, the mid-ocean ridge, they found the area that's closest to it was younger than land that was farther away from it. So this area was indeed younger. This area was indeed older. Now, why would that be? And what these scientists have come up with was that the ocean floor is spreading. That all along this area right here is where you literally have magma, which is coming up from the mantle. It comes up into the sea and pushes out the land. It comes up in these little trenches here, these little mid-ocean ridges. And try to, I'll try to show you a little bit better on this next thing here. Oh, and I guess I should erase that. But what we have down in the bottom left-hand corner is an example here of these ridges. You can see right here that we have the ridge that is kind of in the middle. And what you have happening is the magma in the mantle comes up right at the center of the ridge. Let me put this in blue. Comes up right at the center of the ridge and whenever that hundreds of degrees hits the colder water, it's going to turn to rock. So what you have is all this rock that is right here. And instead of mounding up, it pushes out. It pushes out the land that is already there. And that's what scientists think is happening. Now, the question is, is the earth getting bigger? Because you're suddenly getting the ball, the globe that is expanding. Well, it's not. And the reason it's not are because of these trenches. Now we have right here a trench. And you can see these are, these are some of the deepest areas of the ocean is what this is. Let's go back to the regular map and see where some of these trenches are. Oh, I have to move this again. Some of these trenches are in areas that are like, like this. Look at this trench right here. Some of the deepest areas in all the ocean are the trenches. And notice they're fairly close to land. They are indeed fairly close to land. Now here's what scientists say. These trenches kind of showed them that this is a place where that land could go. And you can see the trenches right here. Whenever this land keeps getting pushed out and gets to the trench, it hits land. 
Now, all of this area is land that is right near the trenches, and it has a different density than the ocean plates. Land plates, different density than the ocean plates. So whenever they hit each other, they don't just collide and make a mountain. They have the plates that are more dense are going to buckle up under the less dense plates. So what you see happening here is that the land under the ocean is actually buckling up under the land that is the continent. So that's kind of what what scientists think is happening. And as a result of that, they do think that these land masses and these ocean masses are indeed moving. And that was kind of the thing that made them believe Wegener a little bit. Now, the reason why they move is called this convection current. Here we have convection current. Remember that the mantle is not really solid. It is kind of like tar, gooey mass. That you have kind of like in bubbling, boiling water. You have bubbles that will go up and bubbles that will then spread out and go down to the bottom of the pan again. And scientists think that this is exactly why these plates are moving, because you have all this bubbling up in the mantle, and then once it gets to the crust, it kind of pushes out. Now, this is, scientists think, is happening at an incredibly slow rate. They think these land masses move literally centimeters per year. Not very far, just a matter of a few centimeters. So this is kind of a slow bubbling and boiling. But the scientists do believe that is the convection current underneath the, the plates in the mantle, which is indeed making them push away. And as a result, you have the theory of plate tectonics. Now, let's take a look at this bottom section right here. What you have, oh, and we'll talk about these volcanoes, why you find them here very often. But what you have is that crust that is being pushed down underneath. So this is just like it was over in the other spot. Let me get this. This is just like it was here. It's just like it is here. We have a land plate right here and we have an ocean plate right here because of the different densities they don't push up mountains too much as much as they have the convection con subduction I guess is the term that we'll use later on for it but when you have this plate that is subducting underneath the other plate now what happens when all this rock goes down in the mantle well, the mantle's 800, 900 degrees, so all this rock is going to melt and be part of the mantle again. It's kind of like a big conveyor belt. You have land which is going this way and will buckle under and will eventually turn into mantle-type stuff. It gets caught up in the convection cell as, man as magma, and will end up coming up through here and making land again, and it will continue the cycle for many, 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 many years. It really is slow. So that's what scientists think happens.